Hey guys, you you watched if you watched my actual like around the board KCA's video, you know what I'm gonna be talking about now. And if you don't, so this is my video for discussing favorite cartoon. Now I should have included a best animated feature in this, yet I didn't really watch many animated features this year. Um, however, I have a lot to discuss on favorite cartoon this year, actually. Like, a lot. Because Nick has eight nominees this year. Eight! You have no clue how much better it is this year than most previous years. And you know what? Plenty of these nominees I actually like. So what are the KCA's nominees for favorite cartoon? The Amazing World of Gumball, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Gravity Falls, Ninjago, Phineas and Ferb, SpongeBob SquarePants, Steven Universe, and Teen Titans Go. Oh my goodness, Nickelodeon actually got some stuff right. Sp the non SpongeBobians have an actual fighting chance. We really do. Don't get me wrong, I like SpongeBob and everything, but man, it wins way too much. But, so, what are the options for this one? Well, Gumball, which I haven't talked about yet on my channel, actually, I think. Aside from my Fall Cartoon Network video, which is absolutely horrible. But, I actually really love this show. Almost every episode of Gumball gives me at least five good laughs. And that's something so few, few shows can even accomplish nowadays. Yes, I am saying right now that I personally, if you're going by comedy, think Gumball's the funniest show on TV, as far as cartoons go. It's the only one that makes me laugh every possible moment. Then, we have Alvin and the Chipmunks, another show which I haven't talked about on my channel. This show, I haven't seen enough, but it's mediocre, or it's middle of the line from what I've seen. I guess it's better than I thought it would be, but that's not saying much. Next up is Gravity Falls. Yes, Gravity Falls is actually being nominated for Favorite Cartoon, and not Favorite Cartoon Sidejack, Sidekick. And this is pretty big. I mean, it's the first time one of us, or one of these, bi the big cartoons, like the non-Nickelodeon ones, um, are actually being nominated. And yes, I'm impressed. Nickelodeon, you've stepped up your game already. Including it for one of the final, its final years is very smart. Or, its final year. Then we have Ninjago. I have a history with Ninjago, actually. I really do. I watched the first season of the show completely. Yeah, no joke there. Quit sometime in the middle of the se second season, but because back then I, I couldn't watch um, continuing shows, really. I could only watch comedy shows out of order and stuff, and I, yeah. I wasn't that good at continuative narratives and stuff like that then. Gravity Falls being a bit of an exception. But it's it's a good you know, it's a semi decent show, Nick, so and I will say if you it's a progressive show too, which I can automatically stand for. That's right, I remember at one point they kill, they attempted to kill off a main character, which is something I have rarely ever seen happen in a kid's show, in fact. Sure, they brought him back a little while later, but he was absent for quite a while. And it's something that I will always say has impressed me about the show. Because so far, few cartoons, even Steven Universe and Rowdy Falls, have yet to do that. And Gravity Falls can't. Steven Universe may eventually like, kill off a character, but still. 
so what is what are the other uh, shows for options? Phineas and Ferb. If there's any show that has gr that I feel has grown up with me, it's that this show. And I'll have some more stuff to talk about this that show in a later video, cause I have a unique connection to it that so so few people can actually make to it. A nostalgia critic like connection. Um, a nostalgia critic, Doug like connection, but not against the show. Next up, we have SpongeBob, which no surprise Nickelodeon is there because SpongeBob, even now, I think is still a good show. I yeah, it was a bad show for a little while. But it's back to being good. I, from what I have seen of season nine, I actually do like it. I, as one of our final options, we have Steven Universe, which is my vote. Because, oh my goodness, this show is my show. Like, alright, let me just state. As you, if you've been a long time viewer of my channel, this is the show that helped keep me going for so long on my channel. And in my YouTube career. This show is the show that allowed me to make it to 75 subscribers and start growing my fan base. In fact, it was my very first video in this era of my channel. In fact, I have been making these kinds of videos for a year now, and probably over two, a hundred of these in my library too. And finally, the show I have the worst history with, Teen Titans Go! Which, if you've been a viewer of my channel for a while, you know my history with it. I don't enjoy it. So yeah, my pick for favorite cartoon is Steven Universe. Thank you for watching this video. SpongeBob will probably win, though. But T9's Go actually has a chance, I think, against it now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.